Hey everyone, welcome to the first video of our task planner project. In this video, we will be building up the backend for our task planner. Now the following video might be divided under three to four different videos because I want to keep each and every video more understandable for you. Right. So the thing is, we will be building our backend with the help of Nest.js. Now Nest.js will be using TypeScript as its syntax language, that is syntactical language. So if you don't know what is TypeScript and how to use TypeScript, Please watch this video. In this video, I have explained everything about how to write TypeScript, how to perform all the actions, for example, writing classes, writing functions, methods, properties, etc. and etc. So if you haven't watched this video, kindly watch that because on the basis of that video, you will be understanding about what is exactly happening today. Right. So if you haven't no, so if you don't know what is TypeScript and etc., please watch that video. And once you completely know how to write TypeScript, only at that point come here, right? So in this video, we will be creating boilerplate code for our application, and also I'll teach you some of the fundamentals of Nest.js, right? So first of all, what is Nest.js? Consider a Nest.js to be a framework that is built on top of Node.js and Express.js, right? It will be removing most of the boilerplate code that we write under Node.js and Express.js. Right. So without any further talk, you can visit the following documentation to visit to simply learn about what is Nest.js and etc. etc. Now I tr truly believe that one should write the code first and later understand what's going on. Right. So we will follow the same step. Instead of moving any documentation, I'll directly show you how to create a new Nest.js project and how to initiate it. Right. So first of all, what you can do, you can simply install Nest.js CLI. Right. Now regarding the following npm package and etc. I have already explained in this video of TypeScript how to install npm, what are npm packages, etc. and etc. Right. So here I'll simply copy the following command and move on to my terminal. Right. So onto my terminal, I can go on my desktop and I can simply first of all let's create a folder. So here I'll simply say a folder known as task planner. Right. It will be an entire directory. So let's move under our task planner. And here, first of all, what you can do, we can simply create a small folder for backend, right? So here I simply say make dr backend, and here I can move into backend because you will also now make sure you are using the standard version of npm package, not the latest one. Because once the following project, okay, what we have to do here, we have to simply write here sudo because I am on MacBook. It asks for different permissions. You have to, have to simply write your sudo and your password. Cool. Now this should be installed. So yeah, so what I'm saying was you should be installing the current version of your node, not the latest one, right? So right now what I can do, I have simply created my, that is, I have installed my Nest.js CLI here. So what I can do, I can simply open the following folder under my VS Code. Simply write code and a dot and press enter. Cool. So right, right now you can see I have got my backend folder here, right? So here on my backend folder, if I visit the documentation one more time, Okay, say bye bye to this. What we can do now, we can simply create a new Nest.js project, right? So I can simply copy the following command line and paste here. Now the project name should be different one. So here I'll simply call it task planner backend. Yeah, something like this. Now you can name the following thing anything you want, right? I'll simply name it to be standard one to be task planner backend and press enter. So here we should be using npm package. So simply press npm. That is click enter or npm. It might take a couple of minutes. So let's wait for it. And also I have got, I have been getting many queries over how to add this effect to your cursor in your VS code. Now, to be honest, I don't know how I added that. I simply upgraded my VS code and through that it simply added the following effect. Wherever I scroll, it takes the following line, right? So now you can see we have got our entire folder here, which is source and we will be getting our boilerplate code. Right. So let's shift our panel to the right side and let's expand it. Right. So let's remove this thing as well. So right now you can see we have created our boilerplate application and our boilerplate application will be giving us a bunch of files. Now what we have to do, we have to don't pay attention to the boilerplate files because if you do, you will be getting too much of confusion if you write, if you are writing Nest.js code for the first time. Right. So what I'll do, I'll simply delete all the files from this side because I'll start from scratch. Right. So I'll delete all the files here just like this and also all the testing files because we will be testing our application in the latter tutorials right so right now you can see you are getting the following main.ts file 
and obviously we'll be getting the following error because we have deleted all the files right so what nest.js will do nest.js will divide its all the entire application into four components right and the following components will be a controller a module a provider and a service right for all of these four components will be creating a module for our entire application right so in this our task planner application we'll be having two modules all the tasks and all the task category right so what you have to do under your source folder you have to simply create a new folder known as modules right and under this module folder you can simply create a module for all the tasks easy and one more folder for all the category right just like this so we have got two modules task and task category right so under my task what you have to do you have to simply create four different files for controller module provider and service now if, uh, if i visit my vs code extensions if i simply write nest okay, i guess i have installed it uh, yeah so i have installed the following extension of nest.js tool it helps me in generating all the files with my own thing right so here you can see if i simply press right click over my entire task folder you can see you will be getting these command line tools right generate controller decorator etc and etc but as we are starting out learning nest.js you should be only depending on four different components that is service module <coughs> controller and provider right so right now what you can see i can simply press the following button here and it will ask me to create a module name right so, but what i want to show you is how you can create this manually so you can understand it more better right so under my task what i'll do i'll simply create a file known as tasks.controller.ts now you have to add ts to be extension because every whatever code we'll be writing under our application will be through typescript right so here we have got task controller i'll create four different file and explain to you what are those files all right so here i have created four different files now first of all if you pay attention the task module will be combining all of these three files a task module will be simply a bundle of our three files of controller provider and service and once we created the bundle we can provide this bundle to our main app module right after this you can see we have got our provider what our provider will be doing provider will be providing the injection repository to controller and to service it will basically connect our controller and service through the injection that is dependency injection with the help of the repositories right after this we have got our services the services will be containing the base code of our application that is some queries for example create task face task delete task update task etc and etc right and after that finally we have got a task controller now consider task controller to be built on top of routes whatever routes we will be exposing to our front end will be covered under a task controller now what i mean by that if we see created some services under our task for example if we created a service for creating task to expose that task to our server we have to add that service under our task controller right and to the task controller we'll be providing certain routes routes such as create fetch delete update and also it will be containing sub routes such as create slash task fetch slash task by id delete slash something something and etc right so this is how the theoretical things will be going on but i don't believe in theory so i'll simply create some boilerplate bit application for us right so right now you can see we have our task controller now what we'll do we'll come out of our modules and under our source file i'll be creating a file known as app dot module dot typescript right so we have got our app dot module dot typescript and here under my file what i'll do i'll be creating a module importer what i mean by that i can simply write at the rate which will be known as decorator whatever thing you will be writing with the help of this add rate as a prefix that will be known as a decorator right so here i can simply say import module right it will be automatically importing it so here we can see we have got our module here right so under this module we will be writing bunch of things so first of all what i can do i can say under my module i will be importing different modules right the module for now will be task module and task category module after this what i'll do i'll simply export a new class known as app module just like this now once we have done this what you have to do you have to simply recall it one more time so you can write the following curly braces and quick fix all the auto-fixable problems now once i have done this here i can go back and you can see all the errors will be gone because we have created the following app module files 
and also we have got our main.ts file which is creating a new application with nest.js having the core module to be app module and at the last we are listening to a server of 3000 right you can you can change the following server to any sort of you want that is 7000 8000 etc and etc but let's keep it default for now right so this is how the boilerplate application will be going on right so right now what i can do under my module we can create bunch of tasks here bunch of task and bunch of task category now what i want through this video that you should be able to set up your entire nest.js project right once you have set up your nest.js project instead of deleting all the files that we have deleted previously simply run the following command that will be under your package.json file that is the following command of start debug now how to do that simply open your terminal uh, let's clear everything and you have to write the following command now let me show to you you have to simply write npm start the following script right so here i'll simply say npm run start right npm run start and debug once you will press this application you will be see or uh, you will be seeing a hello world application here but since i have deleted the following boilerplate code i have i am not able to check here but if you are not deleting your boilerplate code you will be seeing your hello world application right once you have set up nest.js under your application that's it that's it for this video we'll be going through baby steps because i want you to understand what is nest.js because through the basis of this project you will be able to understand the hardcore concepts of the next projects of uber clone application food area application etc and etc right so make sure you have done all of these things that we have done so far and also make sure you have watched the typescript video because that will be the base for writing typescript cool so i will see you in the next video till then have a good day goodbye